his mum and dad, oh, this is Linda, we're, we're going to get married. Don't be silly, love, she said. He says that to all the girls. What made Barry Gibb and Linda Gray stick together for more than half a century? Witnesses of the couple's relationship development revealed that it was the first intimate encounter that made Barry and Linda inseparable, and that was special. It is worth mentioning that even longtime fans of the couple did not know this. Therefore, watch the video until the end to fill your understanding of the special love story of Barry Gibb and Linda Gray. In the bustling world of 1960s pop culture, the Bee Gees, a rising musical group, made a notable appearance on the popular British music show Top of the Pops. It was 1967, and the Bee Gees were riding high on the success of their hit single Massachusetts, which had recently topped the charts. The show was a significant platform for emerging and established artists alike, providing a stage for their performances and a chance to mingle with other celebrities. On this particular evening, the band's lead singer, Barry Gibb, found himself not only performing but also in the company of someone who would become a pivotal figure in his life. Linda, a beauty queen and the evening's hostess, was introduced to Barry during their time on the show. The encounter was fortuitous and charged with an almost cinematic quality, setting the stage for an unexpected adventure. Despite the buzz around Massachusetts, Linda revealed to Barry that she had never heard the song before. This revelation was a peculiar twist in their meeting, but did little to dampen the sparks between them. After the Bee Gees' performance, Barry and Linda felt a magnetic pull that compelled them to escape the confines of the studio for a more private and unconventional setting. Their impromptu adventure led them to a nearby studio, where a remarkable turn of events awaited. The studio was not just any ordinary location, but the set of a beloved British science fiction show, Doctor Who. For those unfamiliar with British pop culture, Doctor Who is a long-running series that began in 1963. It follows the adventures of the Doctor, a time-traveling alien with the ability to regenerate into different forms. One of the show's most iconic elements is the TARDIS, an acronym for Time and Relative Dimension in Space. Although the TARDIS is supposed to be a time machine and spacecraft, it is famously trapped in the guise of a 1950s British police box due to a malfunction in its chameleon circuit. In a thrilling twist of fate, Barry and Linda managed to evade the studio's security and found themselves on the set of Doctor Who. Their serendipitous exploration led them to the TARDIS itself. Inside, amidst the intricate and somewhat surreal surroundings of the doctor's time machine, the couple found themselves in an intimate and passionate embrace. The incongruity of their romance unfolding in the TARDIS added an almost whimsical, otherworldly dimension to their encounter. The combination of Barry's musical stardom and Linda's beauty queen charm, along with the unexpected backdrop of the TARDIS, created a moment that was both extraordinary and memorable. Their escapade on the set of a sci-fi show, while the Doctor's time-traveling vehicle loomed in the background, highlighted the unpredictability and excitement of their burgeoning relationship. Barry Gibb and Linda's first encounter on the Top of the Pops, set in 1967, was more than a fleeting moment of romance. It was the beginning of a deep and enduring relationship. Over the years, their initial spark evolved into a committed partnership, culminating in their marriage in 1970. Their union was not just a personal milestone, but a foundation for a remarkable family life that has spanned decades. By 1970, Barry and Linda's bond had solidified into a lifelong commitment. They embarked on their journey together as a married couple, establishing a strong and loving family environment. Their family grew to include five children, Stephen, born 47 years ago, Ashley, 43 years ago, Travis, 39 years ago, Michael, 36 years ago, and their youngest, Alexandra, 29 years ago. Each child brought a unique dynamic to the family, enriching their lives with joy and creating a close-knit family unit that has stood the test of time. As a member of the Bee Gees, Barry Gibb played a pivotal role in shaping the music landscape. 
The Bee Gees were not only known for their distinctive harmonies, but also for their contributions to some of the most iconic songs of their era. One of their most significant achievements came with the soundtrack for the 1977 film Saturday Night Fever, which starred John Travolta. The soundtrack, composed primarily by Barry and his brothers, Robin and Maurice, became a cultural phenomenon and a defining soundtrack of the disco era. Despite the immense success and fame that came with being a Bee Gee, Barry and Linda maintained a grounded and devoted family life. The Bee Gees' career was marked by both triumph and tragedy. The band continued to produce music and enjoyed success for nearly 40 years. However, the passing of Barry's brothers, Robin in 2012 due to cancer, and Maurice in 2003 from a heart attack, left a significant void in both his personal life and the music world. Their deaths marked the end of an era for the Bee Gees, but Barry's musical legacy endured. In 2017, Barry Gibb made a notable return to the studio with his solo project, Greenfields, the Gibb Brothers' songbook, Volume 1. This album was a tribute to the Bee Gees' legacy, featuring covers of classic songs originally recorded by the band, performed by various country music artists. The project was well-received and allowed Barry to revisit and reinterpret some of the most beloved songs from his illustrious career. Throughout his career, Barry has had the opportunity to meet and befriend numerous celebrities, including the King of Pop, Michael Jackson. Reflecting on his own level of fame compared to Jackson's, Barry expressed gratitude for the way his personal life remained grounded and focused on his family. He appreciated that the demands of his career, while significant, never overshadowed his dedication to his loved ones. The balance between his professional success and personal life was something he valued deeply, attributing his ability to stay centered to the support and love of his family. In the world of entertainment, the Bee Gees, particularly Barry Gibb, were often seen through a glamorous lens, celebrated for their distinctive falsetto voices, stylish attire, and iconic disco hits. Throughout their career, they were frequently hailed as appealing figures, a status cemented by their striking looks and the irresistible charm that came through in their performances. However, a different side of the Bee Gees emerged in 1983, revealing a more personal and heartfelt aspect of their lives. In that year, the Bee Gees were not actively performing together as a band. Barry, Robin, and Maurice Gibb had taken some time apart, each pursuing individual projects and focusing on their personal lives. Yet the year 1983 saw a special and intimate moment that showcased their genuine affection for their families and their enduring bond as brothers. The occasion was a Christmas special on LWT, London Weekend Television, titled Scylla Black Christmas. This program was hosted by Scylla Black, a beloved British singer and television personality, and was designed to celebrate the holiday season with a mix of entertainment and festive cheer. The Bee Gees, known for their music and their high-profile status, made a rare and poignant appearance on the show. In a touching display of family unity and love, Barry, Robin, and Maurice Gibb invited their spouses and children to join them on stage. The presence of their families added a layer of warmth and sincerity to the performance, contrasting sharply with the public's perception of the Bee Gees as mere pop icons. On this special occasion, the Bee Gees performed a heartfelt rendition of Silent Night, a classic Christmas carol known for its serene and reflective qualities. The inclusion of their wives, Linda Gibb, Dwina Murphy Gibb, and Yvonne Gibb, on stage was a significant and rare moment. Typically, the Bee Gees' personal lives were kept separate from their professional personas making this public display of familial affection all the more meaningful. Linda, Dwina, and Yvonne had always been supportive figures in their husbands' lives, but their appearance on the show highlighted the importance of family in the Gibb brothers' lives. The fact that the Bee Gees were not actively making music together at the time only heightened the significance of this event. Their performance of Silent Night was not just a holiday tribute, but also a testament to their enduring connection and the importance they placed on family. 
The song's message of peace and goodwill resonated deeply with the Gibb brothers, emphasizing their roles as devoted family men rather than just celebrated entertainers. Barry Gibb's personal life, much like his professional journey, has been marked by significant relationships and the enduring support of those closest to him. Barry's first marriage was to Maureen Bates, whom he wed in 1966 when he was just 19 years old. This early marriage came during a formative period in Barry's life as the Bee Gees were beginning to gain recognition. Despite their youthful start together, the marriage faced challenges and eventually ended in divorce in 1970. The end of Barry's marriage to Maureen marked a new chapter in his life. Shortly after, Barry met Linda Gray, who had just been crowned Miss Edinburgh at the age of 17. Linda was a striking figure, and her beauty and grace complemented Barry's rising star in the music industry. Their connection was immediate and deep, leading to their marriage in 1970. This new union brought Barry stability and a renewed sense of personal fulfillment. Barry and Linda's life together has been characterized by a harmonious blend of public success and private contentment. The couple chose to split their time between Miami and England, balancing the demands of Barry's career with a commitment to family life. They are proud parents to five children, Stephen, Ashley, Travis, Michael, and Alexandra, and have welcomed seven grandchildren into their lives. This large and close-knit family has been a source of joy and grounding for Barry throughout his career. Their marriage, which recently celebrated its 50th anniversary, stands as a rare and remarkable achievement in the music industry. The entertainment world is often rife with transient relationships and the pressures of fame, making a half-century of marriage a significant milestone. Barry attributes much of his personal and professional stability to Linda's unwavering support and presence. Linda has played an indispensable role in Barry's life, both as a supportive partner and a source of personal strength. Barry has often spoken about Linda's role in his life with deep appreciation, referring to her as a tower of strength. Her steadfast presence has provided him with not only emotional support, but also practical guidance. Barry has mentioned in interviews that Linda is always there to offer a comforting pat on the back when needed, or a swift kick to the rear if he strays off course. This blend of support and discipline has been crucial in maintaining Barry's focus and determination throughout his career. Barry Gibb has consistently acknowledged the pivotal role his wife, Linda, has played in his life and career. His reflections on their relationship highlight how crucial her support has been in guiding him away from the pitfalls that affected other members of his family. Barry's brothers, Maurice and Andy Gibb, each faced their own significant struggles. Maurice battled with alcoholism, a challenge that deeply affected his personal and professional life. Andy, the youngest of the Gibbs siblings, struggled with substance abuse issues that ultimately led to his tragic death at the age of 30. Andy's passing in 1988 was a result of complications related to a heroin overdose, a loss that profoundly impacted Barry and the entire Gibb family. In contrast to his brother's struggles, Barry attributes much of his personal and professional stability to Linda. In interviews, Barry has spoken candidly about how Linda's unwavering presence and strong stance against his potential missteps were crucial in steering him away from similar destructive behaviors. He has often expressed deep gratitude for her role in his life, noting that her steadfast support helped him avoid the downward spirals that his brothers faced. One poignant example Barry shared with The Guardian in 2020 illustrates just how instrumental Linda was in his journey. He recounted a moment of personal reckoning where he decided to stop buying drugs, a decision largely influenced by his desire to avoid upsetting Linda. Barry described a routine where he would purchase drugs only to be faced with the task of flushing them down the toilet each time he brought them home. This act of discarding the drugs was not just a physical gesture, but a profound realization of his commitment to his wife and their shared values. Linda's influence went beyond merely providing emotional support. 
she actively worked to keep Barry grounded and focused. Her insistence on maintaining a healthy and stable environment in their home acted as a powerful deterrent against the temptations and behaviors that could have derailed his career and personal life. Barry's acknowledgement of Linda's role in keeping him on the right path underscores the depth of his appreciation for her dedication. Barry considers himself exceptionally fortunate to have Linda by his side, especially given the contrasting fates of his brothers. Her unwavering support and clear boundaries provided a strong foundation that allowed Barry to navigate the challenges of fame and personal life without succumbing to the same struggles his brothers faced. Their successful marriage and family life serve as a testament to Linda's influence and Barry's commitment to staying on a positive path. This dynamic has also positioned Barry and Linda as admirable role models within the Gibb family. Their enduring partnership and the stability it has provided have been a source of inspiration and a counterbalance to the difficulties faced by his siblings. Barry's acknowledgement of Linda's role in his life highlights not only his gratitude, but also the profound impact that a supportive and loving partnership can have on overcoming personal challenges. Barry Gibbs' enduring marriage to Linda Gray, lasting over 50 years, is a testament to their mutual commitment and faithfulness. Despite the numerous temptations and opportunities that came their way, both Barry and Linda remained steadfastly loyal to each other, a rarity in the world of entertainment where marriages often crumble under the pressures of fame and fortune. Throughout his career, Barry Gibb was widely recognized as a sex icon. His striking looks, charismatic stage presence, and the Bee Gees' massive success placed him in the spotlight, making him a target for adoration and attention from fans worldwide. Given his status and the nature of the music industry, it would not have been surprising if Barry had multiple marriages. The constant touring, the allure of groupies, and the intense adulation he received could have easily led him down a path of infidelity. However, Barry consistently chose to honor his commitment to Linda. In a 2016 interview with the New York Post, Barry recounted a particularly memorable incident that underscored the challenges they faced as a couple. He recalled a time when Hollywood legend Steve McQueen attempted to woo Linda away from him. Barry described how McQueen, renowned for his own charm and rugged good looks, made a bold move to steal Linda's affections. Despite the allure of McQueen's advances, Linda remained faithful to Barry, showcasing her unwavering commitment to their marriage. Linda's stunning beauty and grace undoubtedly attracted attention throughout their marriage. Her attractiveness never waned, even as they navigated the complexities of a long-term relationship in the public eye. Linda's loyalty to Barry, despite having her own opportunities to stray, speaks volumes about the strength of their bond and the depth of her love and respect for her husband. Barry has openly expressed his gratitude and admiration for Linda's faithfulness. He often highlights how their mutual commitment has been a cornerstone of their relationship, allowing them to weather the various storms that come with a high-profile life. Barry acknowledges that his success and affluence could have made it tempting to cheat but he chose to remain true to Linda. This decision was not only a testament to his character, but also a reflection of the deep respect and love he holds for his wife. Their faithfulness to each other is particularly remarkable given the broader context of their lives. The music industry in the 1970s and 1980s was rife with hedonism and excess, where infidelity was often the norm rather than the exception. Barry and Linda's ability to maintain their commitment to each other amidst such an environment speaks to their unique and enduring bond. Barry and Linda Gibbs' 50 years of marriage stand as a beacon of commitment and stability in the often tumultuous world of rock and pop stardom. However, their enduring bond is not the only story of resilience within the Gibb family. The other Gibb brothers also faced their own challenges in their marital lives before finding lasting partnerships that carried them through until their deaths. 
Maurice Gibbs' journey to finding lasting love and stability was particularly marked by trials and tribulations. In October 1975, Maurice married Yvonne Spenceley Gibb, his second wife. Before Yvonne, Maurice had experienced a four-year marriage with singer Lulu. This first marriage, characterized by its precarious nature, ended in divorce. Maurice's relationship with Yvonne, however, proved to be a much stronger and enduring partnership. The couple had two children together, Adam, born in 1976, and Samantha, born in 1980. Despite the love and stability that Maurice found with Yvonne, his struggle with alcoholism cast a long shadow over their marriage. By 1991, Maurice's drinking had escalated to a critical point. Following a month-long binge, an alarming incident occurred where Maurice, in a state of intoxication, pulled a revolver on his wife and children. This terrifying episode was a wake-up call for the family. Yvonne, fearing for her and her children's safety, decided to leave Maurice. She took Adam and Samantha and sought refuge with Barry and Linda, vowing not to return until Maurice was completely sober. This separation proved to be the turning point Morris needed. Realizing the gravity of his actions and the potential loss of his family, Morris entered a rehabilitation center to address his alcoholism. The process was grueling, but with the support of his family and the new friends he made in treatment, Maurice managed to achieve sobriety. His determination to rebuild his life and relationships was evident when, in 1992, Maurice and Yvonne decided to renew their wedding vows. This act symbolized a fresh start and a reaffirmation of their commitment to each other. From the time he achieved sobriety in 1991 until his death in 2003, Maurice remained alcohol-free. This period of sobriety brought a renewed sense of stability and happiness to his family life. Maurice's journey from the depths of addiction to recovery is a testament to his resilience and the unwavering support of Yvonne and their children. It also highlights the strong, familial bonds within the Gibb family, with Barry and Linda providing a safe haven during Morris's most challenging times. What do you think about Barry and Linda's love story? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.